This video is kind of a combination of a gear review and a preview to an upcoming project. I have a set of recliners in my RV and I have a light that's over the recliner. And the light is just too hard to use because it's way high in the air. And you kind of have to lean into the recliner to uh, turn the lights on. And to improve that situation I want to put some spotlights over the recliners. And of course I'm going to put a dimmer on those with wireless remote control. But that's going to be in another video for the project itself. So this video is just basically kind of a primer to the project plus kind of a neat video on some LEDs. Now if you go to Amazon or eBay or any of those other popular places you'll see these little 1 watt to 2 watt spotlights. And they are quite tiny. They're really kind of cute. And you can get them either AC powered or DC powered. And there's kind of a trick to buying them. For example, this one is DC powered. And just for the one light, it was $20. Now this is a little different than the rest of them. It looks like it's just slightly larger. And it's actually, the machining looks a little better. But still, it's within the ballpark. And it comes with this driver which is a DC driver and the driver has a connector on it so we can disconnect this from the driver and with these AC power drivers I got both of these as a set of two for about nine dollars and the solar ones were about the same price and again these drivers are AC drivers and you can disconnect them as well you know, when we remove the drivers, there's not much left to the LEDs. So let's take one apart and I'll show you what I mean. And you can just pull this base off. And there's like a little silicon grommet here that goes into the base. And that's all it holds this little ball on. Like that. And then that way you can adjust it back and forth. And if we remove the lens, we have the bezel and we have a clear plastic lens and then what we have is an LED in here and if I pull it out it's got some white heat sink compound and this is metal on the back of this and all it does is help transfer the heat into this and this is a you know just a standard Cree type LED I'm not sure that they're Cree or not but you know there's that style and you need a driver for this and we're not going to use the one driver that it came with because we're going to want to power these on DC and as I assemble this the reason I mention the drivers and we're not going to use them is because you may end up finding that the AC powered LED with the AC driver is cheaper than the one with a DC driver and there's also a small difference. These end up being 2 watt and the rest of these were 1 watt. And there's a company called LED Supply. And this is a combination driver and dimmer. And this particular one is 350 milliampers. So if you do the math, you know that's about what we want. And to connect this, in fact, this thing will handle up to I think 35 volts or something, but uh, we're going to power, of course, with 12 volts uh, from the RV system. And these each drop about 2 volts, so you could conceivably put four of these in series and power them with uh, one driver. We'll cover that more in the actual project. So I went ahead and connected two of these lights in series connected them to the LED input of this LED supply dimmer driver and by the way this is a 3023-D-E-350P and you can buy it with the potentiometer already on there or you can buy it without a potentiometer and you know you can put your own potentiometer if you got something like this on it. We've got it on and there we go. There's bright and then we can dim it. 
So now if we put a meter across our two LEDs, we're dropping about 6 volts. So each LED drops about 3 volts. And while I'm looking at my power supply, we're doing about 200 milliamp years. So this 350 milliamp year driver is plenty. And just to give you kind of a preview of the project, I had this nice brushed aluminum plate made. And this uh, plate I'm going to install the lights in like that. And I don't know if I'm going to, yeah, if I'm going to use the silver ones or the black ones, but I'll use one of the others. And uh, boy, it really messes with the camera, doesn't it? Yeah, it's going to be kind of cool. So stay tuned for the project.